Hey, Salvador Brigman here. Welcome back to the Crowdfunding Demystified YouTube channel. And today we're talking about how to donate to an Indiegogo campaign. How do you support an Indiegogo campaign? How do you back an Indiegogo campaign? That is the question I am answering today. Okay, when you first come to Indiegogo, you should be able to see some of the popular and trending projects that are on the site. You can also see some of the ones that were kind of selected by the team. So cool and clever finds, team favorites, um, production ready products. These are ones that are already shipping or to a degree, as well as those that are in demand. So in demand would be those types of projects that have already raised money successfully and they're continuing to raise money and taking orders um, for, you know, continuing to basically give out their product or to continue to fulfill orders on their various, uh, products. So this is in demand. Um, typically if you're going to be supporting a new Indigo campaign, that's going to be one of the ones that are trending or one of the ones that you found out about when it comes to your friends or family or these types of things. So let's just say we were to come here to this particular project. This is save uh, stereo gum, uh, 007 or yeah, covers comp. So support your favorite music blog and get our star studded comp compilation of new cover songs. Another one here, um, Moft Carry Sleeve with Invisible Stand and Storage. This is a, a Moft stand. It's for laptops. And the other thing here I want to show you real quick is Campster, which is a full height, ultra light everywhere chair. So as a backer, there's one thing that you should know, and that's there's two types of funding goal. There's flexible funding and there's fixed funding. With flexible funding, it doesn't matter whether or not a project hits its goal. It will still um, basically charge your card once the campaign has ended. So there's 30 days left in this campaign. Once those 30 days are over, then um, this this company can basically charge your credit card. If it's a flexible, uh, sorry, it's a, it's a fixed funding goal, then they have to hit or exceed their goal, similar to Kickstarter, in order for them to then uh, move forward and be able to charge your credit card. A lot of the projects on Indiegogo are fixed funding because that's one of the, uh, are flexible funding because that's one of the um, perks basically of going with Indiegogo, whereas that is not the case when it comes to Kickstarter. The other thing that you will see here is you'll see the stage at which a project is at. So is it the concept? Is it the prototype stage? Or is it into production? Is it already shipping? These are the different stages of a project um, when you're coming here. And you can see some of the, the deals or the perks that are available to you. For 74 bucks, you can get two moth sleeves at an early bird price. Uh, if you come here, you can go down. You can see some of the other ones uh, available here for you. And this is pretty standard. As a backer, you can watch the video here. You can see the various components and um, the benefits behind this particular product, as well as for all of these other types of products that are out there on Indiegogo, you can see this as well. Uh, so you can see stuff like the features, you can see some of the other perks. Um, this is a double pack. I really recommend looking through and learning a little bit about products before you begin to support them on Indiegogo or on Kickstarter. And finally, if this is something that's interesting to you regarding the story, you can also see some of the updates that they're posting, some of the basically like blog articles almost that they're posting on their project, as well as some of the comments or things that other people are saying, what they like, what they don't like, maybe some of the questions that they have. You can see that posted in the actual Indiegogo campaign. I want to take a quick second in this video to give a shout out to The Gadget Flow, which is a killer resource um, that I'm going to be sharing with you. And they are also the sponsor of today's YouTube video. This YouTube video is sponsored by The Gadget Flow. The Gadget Flow reaches over 28 million people and they've been around since 2012. They're Indiegogo and Kickstarter experts. They featured over 5,000 crowdfunding campaigns. If you have a tech or design campaign, it is a great platform to generate awareness and get backers. Check them out at thegadgetflow.com slash submit and list your project today. When you're ready to back a campaign to become a backer, um, what you should do is you go and click the reward that you want to select. You could also just click back it here, up here, and that would happen. But typically, you're going to want to go to the reward because it's also going to tell you a little bit more information about this particular reward. So for this $5 one, you don't receive the album at this tier, but a $5 donation helps out and we really appreciate it. This is what's included. If you were to back this one, you would see what's included here, right? The included items, the estimated shipping, and how many other people have claimed this reward. So if we wanted to do this, we would say get this perk. 
This is just a very simple thank you. And then it's going to be taking you through the payment options. Again, saying that crowdfunding is not shopping. This is a donation. Um, you're not going to receive a perk under this. You're also not guaranteed necessarily to receive a perk. And you can receive a full refund until the campaign the campaign ends after this date the responsibilities are on the campaign owner to actually make this you have to agree to those terms of service and then you will continue to payment when it comes to the payments you could do google pay um, you could also just do you know other methods when it comes to using your credit card or your debit card there's a lot of payment options um, i think that are available if you already have a user account you could log into indiegogo but it is not necessary so you would type here what is your name what is your email address? What's your debit or credit card? And then how do you want to appear as a contributor? Do you want to be an anonymous? Do you want to be other? Or do you want to have your name uh, appear there and make sure you also agree to the terms of service? Just double checking this that you got the right reward that you want. And then you click submit payment. Okay, and we just submitted payment for this. Thank you for backing this campaign. Uh, your contribution ID is this. Email was sent to sbrakeman at crowdcox.com with your conf uh, contribution confirmation. This charge will appear in your card as this. If you need to change your shipping address, please visit the contribution details and if you want to you could share this campaign and you can also see some of the other cool campaigns that are out there this one actually looks really interesting <laughs> i want to check that out but um th this basically goes through the very simple um step-by-step -step process for backing an indigo campaign if you are doing an indigo yourself you can always reach out to me at my email address or book a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me at the link down below in addition there's some cool t-shirts and swag uh below this video and um, if you want to support the community, you can do that. I try to throw a little bit of money back into these projects um, when it comes to the swag, just because it's kind of something fun to do, honestly. Some of the different slogans that are there. But take a second to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want more content like this. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this simple, no-nonsense style video. And leave a comment down below if you have any questions when it comes to Indiegogo. I also have some great other videos out there comparing Indiegogo to Kickstarter, comparing Indiegogo to other types of crowdfunding sites. So be sure to dive into my channel and look out for some of those videos. My name is Salvador Brigman. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you next time.